Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in my previous video, well, the last video where I spoke about, you know, investing in stocks and shares, I sort of gave an intro as to like how I got started and basically the reasons why you should be investing in stocks and shares if you aren't already. Now, I personally feel that the first step is to get a stocks and shares ISR, which I spoke about in that video. So if you haven't seen it, I'm going to link it in the card so that maybe you can jump to that video and maybe come back to this one or vice versa. I'll watch this first and then go to that one. But yeah, I'm quite excited about this new sort of series on my channel because um, as I said in the other video I'm quite excited to start talking about investing in stocks so another area of investment and not just property and hopefully by sharing like my journey and the sort of like approach to it it can also encourage you also if you've been feeling a bit like reluctant or hesitant for whatever reason so yeah in today's video I want to talk to you about the first three like stocks that I bought in the stock market and the reasons why I bought into those companies okay so mini spoiler alert I've only spent 50 pounds well just under 50 pounds in buying my first three set of stocks and shares now I know that that may sound small and you know to be honest I will definitely be increasing it by at least 100 pounds each month but I only invested that much last month because it wasn't something that I planned for it was kind of impromptu just because I knew I'd been stalling for so long but I really needed to get started investing in the stock market so yeah I spent just under 50 pounds overall but before I go on to talking about the free stocks that I bought I basically just want to talk about the platform that I've decided to start like investing on and why so the platform that I decided to start buying my shares on and essentially managing my stock portfolio is Free Trade. Now I chose Free Trade for a number of reasons. First of all, it's the fact that you know it is free to you know buy and sell your shares on Free Trade. Some platforms will charge you like maybe eleven or twelve pounds per trade. I just yeah I just don't feel that that's necessary for me at this point. I'm just getting started, learning the ropes, and so like because I want to manage it myself in this instance, I don't feel the need to like be paying like you know fees for making trades trades not just yet anyway the second reason I chose free trade is because all the companies that I wanted to invest in are on there the third reason the other platform that I would have used which is trading 212 now has a waiting list and now it's funny because I actually downloaded both um, free trade and trading 212 about maybe over a year ago on my phone the apps were there I had I think practice accounts for trading 212 so yeah it's kind of funny how basically now I've been locked out even though I got started already but yeah there's a wait list and I just wasn't really interested in waiting to get started in investing and the fourth and final reason why I chose free trade is because the user interface is just like really nice and beginner friendly it's easy to read the information look at the graphs and things like that so yeah it's just I think it's just really beginner friendly really so those are the reasons why I chose free trade okay so now the first company that I bought shares in last month May 2021 is Boohoo. Now they always say that you should invest in a company that you know you believe in and that obviously makes sense and Boohoo is definitely one of those companies that I believe in not because you know I shop there or anything like I probably have like maybe one item from there and it's a pair of slippers but um yeah I believe in Boohoo because as a company I think they started up in 2006 and honestly it's just been an upward trend of growth like they're doing so well even last year when Covid hit the company continued to do well and for me that's a great sign. I mean just look at the graph trend here it's showing you you know the beginning to now you can see it's an upward trend and I definitely feel like Boohoo is a company that's here to stay. Despite COVID-19 hitting last year the company outperformed what it expected that it would do so it performed better than their forecast for the year and it did better than the previous year. So I'm just going to read off my um, laptop because I don't know the figure off head but yeah essentially profits increased by 124.7 million in the year to February 2021. Now like that is definitely really higher and it's higher than you know the previous year so you know profits revenue both increase which is a great sign and then more recently Boohoo have reported in the three months to May so that's the first like quarter of their financial year they've reported 30% growth in revenue already so yeah the company continues to do really well despite lockdown despite COVID-19 they've just managed to like push through and just make those right decisions to ensure that you know the company stays on top and you know continues to trade well and efficiently. We all know that the retail sector like suffered big time last year you know due to COVID hitting many stores having to close down but just because like Boohoo is focused on online it doesn't have stores so it doesn't need to pay for all those kind of things buildings you know in-store staff they just managed to like really do well and stay on top and continue to grow so for me it's just really impressive all round as if that's not enough let's look at the fact that you know acquisitions are a big thing when it comes to Boohoo so since the company started up it's acquired so many different companies so many different like fashion brands big known brands for the 
the you know British heritage and yeah it's just doing so well so the most recent acquisitions were the Debenhams brand and then also um, the previous Arcadia brand so Dorothy Perkins, Wallace, Burton they've acquired so many big and well-known brands and honestly the trajectory is only like upwards as long as they continue on in the way they're doing and you know continue to make those right decisions. As well as all of that Boohoo is actually a tech company so it's not just retail as many people will think and we all know that tech is on the up like again referring back to Covid. Covid changed up the way that many people have to do things we're all working from home now yes some people are returning to the office but a lot of organisations are still keeping the whole home working situation so yeah Boohoo being a tech company they've just managed to stay on top and the final reason that I bought the stock in Boohoo was because like honestly it was just so cheap like it's literally like a no-brainer I bought it for £3.22 so that's like literally nothing so even if the stock takes a while to you know grow or I don't see a return on it like it's nothing lost it's £3 you could spend that on anything but at the same time I do not believe that's going to be the case as I said if you look at the graph um, it shows that upwards trajectory and you know as it's a company that's doing the right things making the right moves I definitely see an upwards trend of growth. The second company that I've invested in is none other than Right Move. Well, actually, it's technically the first stock that I bought, but yeah, like it just really makes sense, doesn't it? I'm already in the property space, so it only made sense to invest in a property stock. Also, property is an area that's always going to be on the up. Like, it's just one of those like reliable investments. People are always going to want to buy, whether it's for like residential use or whether it's for investment purposes. Property is one of those things that is just like you know sustainable. People always need property for one reason or another. Right Move is also the UK's most popular property advertising portal. So like that's massive. It's got an eighty percent market share. So that literally means like majority of people, like nearly everyone, is on you know Right Move looking for properties. And so for me, it just makes sense. Again, it's like a no brainer. Like this is definitely going to go up. Another reason why I invested in Rightmove is because I actually read up that, you know, traffic to the website increased by 31% last year in the year that COVID hit. And that's simply because where a lot of estate agents offices had to close and are still closed, to be honest, because they're seeing like they don't need to spend money on offices when people are quite happy to search online for properties. Yeah, Rightmove did really well in that space because all people had was internet. So unless you were going on Zoopla, Rightmove or any other online portal like that, you wouldn't be able to make moves in terms of buying a property. So yeah, like the company is just definitely going upwards really. Like again, it's a tech company, it's the way of the future, it's the way that people are moving. And final reason that I bought into Rightmove was because the stock was also pretty cheap. So it was just £6. So again, like no brainer. Um, it was a great time to invest in a company that I definitely see is going up upwards and so yeah it's just a really good time to put your money into a company like that that is showing like all the right signs of growing and then you know you can ride that journey with it and see your investment go up. And now last but not least, the final company that I've invested in is Squarespace. And now this is actually my pricier stock. It came in at £39.15, I believe. Yes. And that was valued at just over £46. And so already it's seen an 18% increase, which I think is pretty good for such a short period of time. Now Squarespace is actually a recently listed company. Its IPO only came out in May, 20th of May, I believe it was. And that was at $49.87, you know, cents. And now it's increased up to $63.50. Cents. So yeah, in that short space of time, it's grown quite a bit and I think that's really impressive. Now, of course, I understand that just because the company is on the up now, it doesn't mean that it can't go the other way and, you know, the value decreases. But overall, I just see this as a very valuable stock that if you hold on to it, you'll definitely see your money grow. Another reason why I've invested in Squarespace is because website development has seen a huge shift into like low code or no code service offerings over the more recent years. And it's also said that this shift will continue because people, you know, want websites, they need websites and they don't want to have to get, you know, a developer or a coder to build a website for them from scratch they want to be able to do this using a drag and drop editor which is what Squarespace provides and Squarespace as well as Wix are actually the two main like dominating companies in this market and so for me it just makes sense like Squarespace is holding a significant share of the market so why not invest in it when we know this trend is only going upwards. So as I've said earlier, as Squarespace and Wix are the two like main companies dominating this market, so this market for people wanting to like use drag and drop website builders, it makes sense because you know Squarespace have just released their IPO and so it's a lot cheaper to invest in them now versus buying a stock in Wix. I believe Wix is about $300 or $299, whereas buying into them Squarespace was just over, how much was it?
Well, I actually bought it for £39.15, but yeah, versus $299 for Wix, like, it's like, yeah, you know, a bit of a no-brainer if you're someone that's been a bit more cautious and, you know, what you want to, you know, invest in. And finally, Squarespace like Wix actually saw an increase in revenue and also subscribers like using their services due to the pandemic. So a lot of people started setting up businesses, needed websites for whatever reason, and they went to places like Wix or Squarespace. So yeah, that's another reason why I thought I definitely want a piece of this action. This company is on the up and I can't really imagine that it's going to decrease. So again, if you look at the trend, the graph, like you can see that it's just going up and up and up. And so yeah, I feel that that was a good reason to invest in Squarespace. So yes guys, those were the three companies that I invested in in May 2021. I think I've given myself a pretty good like head start in terms of like the choices that I've made. They're sort of varied like, you know, markets, industry. So it's always good to have a varied portfolio. And of course, like with any investment, it will fluctuate. So there may be times when it's on the up and it's really growing. And you know, other times when maybe it declines, but that's just, you know, the nature of the market. But as long as you're holding up for the long term, the fact of the matter is that you will see your money grow and you know that's what it's for at the end of the day i'm doing this as a long-term way to generate wealth for myself in terms of doing my research and analysis i've used tools and websites like themotleyfool.com and also seekingalpha.com i feel like those two are really good give you loads of information like things that happen in the news and it breaks it down as to you know how that impacts the company and you know how it affects you know the market share and whether it's going to go up or go down and things like that so yeah i feel like those two are really good things to use as well as you know just generally google of course as i said earlier the platform that i'm using is free trade and so if you'd like to also get started with free trade you can use my link in the description box and get a free share when you sign up using that thank you for watching and i'll catch you later bye